Hello, welcome to the video. Today we're revisiting the Commodore 128 and the problems I had with the component board. Um, and what we've got here is another board made by Copper Dragon who made a component board. And this one just sits between the VIC-2 and the socket. And it bridges out a two wire connection. Now that two wire connection is here and you get a supplied cable with two crocodile clips on it and I've also got this cable now this cable goes to my RGB to HDMI this cable literally uh, clips onto this or it, it clips onto uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do this as a test when we do it but you, you fit an RCA cable or hijack your existing modulator and what this does is something called LumaCode. Now, LumaCode is a way of encoding video in a more digital fashion. It's not digital, it's still voltage based, but it makes it uh, nicer to transmit without loss of information. And LumaCode is it's made as a part of the firmware for the RGB to HDMI now. And as such, several of these interface adapters exist. This one is for a Commodore 128. They make one for an Atari. They make one for um, a VIC-20 and a Commodore 64. Superb. So with this and no other hardware, well, the RGB to HDMI, so it is some more hardware, I guess. Um, we should get perfect HDMI output in 40 column mode. So, yeah, I've removed the component board from my 128. Okay, so here we are on the bench. A uh, little bit of shaky cam going on. So with the C128, this is what happened to the 3D printed bracket after I heated up the modulator to get it out. Luckily, I printed a few spares at the same time, so that's superb. So this is the M-Bars um, replacement modulator that I was using. Uh, this is superb. It really is brilliant. Um, I've still got the pins in it. I'm going to have to remove these in order to refit it. So, uh, yeah, let's get the C128 up and uh, get this done. Okay. So this is a side view of my, or front view of my C128. I don't know if you can see here, and I don't know how well this is going to come out on video, but... This is my VIC 2E, and you can see that the Copper Dragon board's on top of a, um, a standard socket, and the VIC's here. Um, it's almost flush with the top of the board already. Um, if you were to use the supplied risers, and uh, VGP supplies these, it will actually fail or foul on the top um, if you're using a heatsink of this thickness, uh, and that's about probably six or seven millimeters so um, yeah I'm not sure that that's gonna work like that in this Neo board I don't have a RF can as it were for the Vic chip um, so you can see it's not populated so lifting it up anymore to clear the can on the supplied risers will in my case I'm gonna stress that um, it will foul on the lid but anyway I'm out here to fit the original modulator back. So I'm going to rip this fucker and this fucker out. And uh, yeah, these are going to go in a 1 to 8D. So unfortunately, because of the way this is fitted now, uh, well, because of the way it's fitted in any case, I'm going to have to cut through the pins in order to remove it. Um, yeah, what an arsehole job. But anyway, um, yeah, we're going to get that done now. So uh, in a bit. Okay, so uh, I've cut the pins out, I've got it transplanted, it's all back in. This is how it was before I started this whole component thing. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do is get this all back together, ready for the Vic Dizer, which is another Copper Dragon board, and uh, yeah, we're going to wrap that together, so shortly. Okay, so here you can see that I've got 
the original modulator back in, the M bars one. Um, you can also see, here we go, I've got them powered on. And this is the bit that you're not going to believe. So here's why I was so pissed off in the last video. I literally have no jail bars on this. So using this modulator with S video output on a RetroTink 2X, I have no jail bars. It, it is just phenomenal. And this is just on that modulator there. So look at the difference. It's night and day. The picture is superb. Right, so let's let's uh, get this apart and we're going to get this uh, Luma code board in and see what happens. And that's all back together now with the M-Bars um, replacement modulator, which gave the best image quality that I've had out of any of them. And um, yeah, we're going to fit this and give this a test. So, yeah. Right, now this is going to be difficult to see, but after fitting the new board, and I'm still on S video, I actually have jail bars appeared now. So just the presence of that daughter board alone allows jail bars to creep into the image. How about that? They're not severe, but it's there. So... That provides some sort of clue as to why the component board was doing it. Let's uh, let's hook up the RGB to HDMI and see how the Luma code works. Okay, so this is my RGB to HDMI. I've got that cable and I've just clipped the two crocodile leads on the end, as you can see. And the Luma code picture is, holy fucking shit, crystal clear. No artifacts, no nothing. It's absolutely phenomenal. Let's, uh, let's have a look. That is crystal clear. There's no no distortions, no nothing. No gel bars. Nuh -uh. And the colours are correct. Oh, it's just brilliant. Right, let me just... Um, what I'm going to do is just turn that off. I'm going to try one-handed to put that in. There you go. Well, look at that. That is absolutely phenomenal. It, it just looks crystal clear. Now, you can add scan lines and stuff like that with the uh, RGB to HDMI, if you can bring up the menu. Um, I'm not massively au fait with all the things in here. So, uh, scaling... Oh, there we go. Let's see what it says here. Integer, soft, softer, interplate. It's got all different options for nice. Oh, nice. So as you can see, I'm on Commodore 64 Luma code. Um, that, that is really nice. Let's have a look and see uh, what we've got in here. Oh, look, scan lines are in there. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest with you, the scan lines. At all. Uh, crop border. Oh, I don't know. I can't get that to work at the minute. I'll have a play with that. But... This, this is just phenomenal. So, how do you get rid of this menu? There you go. Uh, that, that just looks the tits. Let's have, a, let's have a look here. Um, let's try this one. Yeah, so this board's from Copper Dragon as well. And it... it oh, that's going to bloody be the same thing, in it? It seems that any daughter board allows for some uh, interference into the VIC. Um, yeah. Let's have a look here. What had a good title screen. Um...
Look at that. Look at that. That is, that is the absolute tits. Luma code. The way to go. Yeah. And you can see, unlike the other video, there is no colour bleed at all. Now, I know some people are going to say, oh, it looks like an emulator. Well, to my eyes at 50 years old, this is superb. I love it. And uh, this is exactly the way forward. I'll put up with the, the jail bars to get this kind of level of quality. That is just phenomenal. Really is. Now, I've, I've taken out the component board and I shall be putting that into my C128D and I fully expect it to work. Some of the problems I've had are, uh, they're not self-inflicted, but they're, they're problems that have happened since. I don't know, what's going on here? Well, that's a new one. Right, so, <laughs> it seems I've, I fucked up the Luma code bit. Uh, I had to reset the uh, RGB to HDMI. Uh, I had Luma code raw and it doesn't need to be that. It needs to be, um, let's have a look, which one have I got? Just Commodore 64 Luma code, there we go. So, yeah, that was the issue. Um, but yeah, th this is absolutely phenomenal. I, I just can't, can't express just how clear that is. That is just superb. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, um, these Copper Dragon boards, whether it's this or the component, will introduce some uh, jail bars into the super video. Now, the component board seriously jacks that up. Um, but this one, only a little bit. And this, this is only a third of the price of the, um, the other one. So yeah, this is a no-brainer. This is definitely the way forward. Um, so, as I was saying, I'm going to put the component board into my C128D and I'm going to make a, um, a video about that. And I fully expect that to work properly. Now, what I did make was this. And this is a tip ring ring sleeve to go to my RGB to HDMI. Unfortunately, I had some really piss poor output with it. Um, I'll cut that into the video now. So as you can see, that really doesn't look good. There, there's colour mismatch, there's uh, sparklies all over the place. It's, yeah, it's not very nice at all. So, yeah. But this board, let's put this back in. Look at that. It is just phenomenal. I'm really super happy with this. Um, what I will say is... Um, the, the company that supplies these is Video Game Perfection. Now, if you look in the comments of the last video, you'll see uh, a whole lot of stuff going on there. Um, I don't think that there's any real uh, problem with the company. Um, you know, they've, they've sold me stuff before in the past, and it's always been good. My RetroTink 2X that I use all the time has been absolutely superb. Um, yeah. So it's just one of those things. It's not a duff board they've sold me. It's, uh, there's a few issues that have happened at once. But I will say, and I will stand by the fact, that as it's sold, it is not suitable for a flat C128 at all. Because the cable's too short, and there's a problem with the height, especially after you, you take your Vic... And you take it out of the protective can. You've got no choice but the heat sink it. So you've got a height difference there, as I showed you earlier. But in a 128D, those problems are largely gone. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And it's worth noting that they did offer me uh, uh, to send it back uh, after the last video. But I'm going to put it in my C128D. So, yeah. So... There's not a lot more to say about this. This is just phenomenal. Um, I don't believe they stock this. I got this direct from Copper Dragon. So, yeah, th this is exactly the way forward. 
I'm super happy with it. I'm going to be slinging one of these in a Commodore 64 and in my Atari and Luma code is the way to go. Absolutely it is. So anyway, I'm going to say thanks for watching the video. Um, check out my other compadres. Uh, although there's four listed on the screen, there's more than that in the description. So have a look. We're in a little YouTube repairers group. And uh, please drop a comment. Good, bad or ugly. It doesn't really matter. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all soon.